four houses finished up in the next 55 days. So we're really pushing that, pushing all the subcontractors. So we're excited to get the painters out of here and move them next door. Keep rolling. Well, Grant Walker Homes has finished his house next door. So this is the first of the four that, that we're doing as a, as a DCI. And uh, it's all in different phases. They're all four in different phases. This is the first one to get drywalled and first one to get completed. So, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna push it. The show's October 3rd. So we're gonna go, we're going full speed ahead. The subcontractors are working all night long. We got lights coming in and stuff. So we're gonna make it. But uh, this one here will make it with no problem. The one next door will make it with no problem. But the, the next two are gonna be working Come September, they'll be working all night. The trim carpenters, the painters, the, the finished plumbers, finished electric, hanging fixtures, you know, so it'll get really crazy. But that's what you do in a home show. There's actually 55 different operations in building a single family home. So, I mean, right now on this site alone in these four houses, we probably have at least 100 people on this site. They're doing drywall, they're doing exterior trim, they've got brick layers, we're running electric, we've got plumbers. You know, we've got a little bit of everything. So we, we probably have over 100 people working here today on the four houses, but uh, 55 different operations and there's probably four or five people with each operation, at least. I mean, we have 14 exterior trim guys on the site right now. 14 of them in three different lifts. So it's a big operation. Most people can't see a finished product. Most of the time when you sell a house of this magnitude, you gotta have grass in, you gotta have everything down, the carpet, everything. Because not a lot of people can see, unless you're in the business, can really see what it's going to look like. You see, we've got plastic on the windows now to keep from scratching the glass, so you can't really see even the view. But everybody seems to love this floor plan. First of all, you see how open this is. Um, and it also has a dumb waiter in the garage. And the dumb waiter goes right upstairs to what's going to be. I don't want to say party room, but it's just a big entertainment area. It's a bar. It's a if they smoke cigars, you know, kind of an area where you can go in and, and uh, have your big screen TV and your private time and your bar and whiskey. Basically a man cave. Gotcha. But people seem to love the privacy here and the width. You can see all the way downtown. Of course, you can see downtown on every one of the yeah. But this one has a little larger. Uh, upstairs, yeah. The other one. So you can see the Great American Tower down there. My sales manager, Bob Crowley. But uh, it's the rooms are large, and but the, again, the biggest thing is the serenity from every room, every window of the house gives you privacy. Even though the houses are relatively close together, by the time you get finished with the landscaping and the way we've positioned the windows, since we've designed all of the houses. We position the window so that you're not looking in on someone else and you have privacy no matter where you are. This is gonna be a dumb waiter. It comes right up from the garage. So when you pull your car in the garage, you're full of beer or water or food or whatever, you know. Instead of having to carry it up all the stairs, you just put it on the dumb waiter and it's electric. It'll come right up here, there'll be a door, and you've got you've got all your beverages, you've got everything you need. So because we feel like most people are gonna spend their time up in this room. It's so large, it's kind of like a, like I said, it's an entertainment area. Now this particular room is really all bonus. This is what we're calling our basement, because there are no basements here. We, we took, you know, we didn't build, we built on a slab, because in order, if we built on a slab, we have the potential to take these houses out of the floodplain, and you won't even need flood insurance, because we're higher than, than the 100-year floodplain, okay? And nothing touches it. If you build a basement in there, if your basement touches it, you may need flood insurance. So we wanted to make sure we didn't need it, and we went ahead and built all the basements above the garages. So this would basically be your, your basement. But then when we started getting into it and putting the lumber down and drywall, etc., everybody's like, oh man, look at this space. It's incredible. Can you imagine if you had you know, kids or grandkids or you know, just visitors? I mean, you could do a lot in this room. So we finish it off. We're gonna carpet it and paint it and clean up. Every house has this. So above the, above the garage, and they're all three car garages basically, you have a huge space, the, just storage. This would be storage, but we did put heat and light, electric and everything in it. So it's gonna be neat.
look at this. Now, this, these guys, what they're doing nowadays, they're blowing ins insulation in. Remember? Yeah. Now, this is way more expensive, but it's about three times the R factor. It's just ridiculous. So they actually literally blow that in with the big hose that they're pulling out right now. I mean, it's amazing. They, they blow it in, and it's wet, and then it takes about three days to dry. You have to get the whole thing dried out before you drywall. But look how tight all this is. As far as everything being caught, yeah, the walls, the studs for the walls are actually two by sixes. Now most houses, if you go anywhere, they're two by fours. I mean, they've been building houses out of two by fours forever. The interior walls are two by four. That's fine, but you want thicker exterior walls because now I got a two by six in there, which gives me that much more insulation. It also finishes the windows up a lot nicer. You got a nice window sill and things, you know, it's a lot wider because you're, you're two inches wider, but you pick up two inches which is really 50 percent as far as insulation you know if you got two by four and it goes to a two by six you just picked up 50 percent more insulation basically not to mention that this this stuff that they blow on is much better than the bats i mean just look through here look how tight everything is you know there's no drywall this ceiling and then the reason this doesn't have any insulation here is because once they drywall that ceiling they'll come back and they'll blow the whole ceiling and the drywall holds it you know, just like when you look at an attic and you see it all fluffed up about a foot deep, that's what they'll do. But in the meantime, they got to put the drywall in to hold it. So, so they're finishing here now, though. They're ready to drywall. We'll get inspection. Yeah, every, of course, every step of this process is inspected and uh, by, the, by the county and by the city. You know, so, but I can tell you right now, this will pass. <laughs> look how tight this is. I mean, it's soft. You can look through houses that are being framed. You can see daylight. You know, but look at this. If there's any chance of daylight, we caulk every single board. Every single gap is full. Every electric outlet. So everything is caulked. There's not, there's not one area you can show where there'd be even a spot that isn't already insulated. And that's huge when it comes to utility bills. Especially, you know, here in Cincinnati in the Midwest like that, we get some cold months, January, December, January, February. So it makes a huge difference with your utility bills. Over the lifetime of your house, I mean, it's tens of thousands of dollars, you know. But this is a different section here now. These, these houses are um, a little thinner, skinnier, than those first, the houses we just went through are 50 foot wide. These houses are 30 foot wide. They're basically though, ironically, they're the same square footage, pretty much still around 4,000 square feet because these all have a third floor. We're gonna build 21 of these and they all have a third floor. They're all gonna have a rooftop deck, which is just outstanding. When we get up here in a second, you know, you'll see. And it's just, just amazing. So it is a little different though. Unlike those houses that we just came out of, the 50 footers, they don't all have first floor masters. These masters are actually on the second floor. This master bedroom is unbelievable. It's phenomenal. Even in the little larger houses next door, this is probably, the coolest master bedroom because what we did we actually combined two bedrooms and made a suite out of it this is actually the master right here that bathtub is just that's going back that doesn't belong there as you can tell but what i did open up a doorway here we're going to put two french doors here so you could walk in here and make this a sitting area for the master or if you had if you did have a young kid or, or a baby this would be a great baby's room and you could just close, you could keep the doors closed or you keep them open or you just take them off the hinges if you wanted to keep this all open and kind of have a sitting room in here and then the master. So, I mean, this is a 30 foot wide master is what you're looking at. You know, we talked earlier about the, the basements being above the garages. Take a look at this. This is a guest bedroom up here. Oh, let's do that same thing again. Go back to there. Okay. Let me get right here. Watch that thing, it's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, grab me. All right, now go ahead and sit. We've got two guest bedrooms upstairs here. Again, the houses are all set up that you can live on the first floor. You don't have to ever come upstairs. But these are pretty, obviously pretty large bedrooms. But I wanted to show you the size of what I call the basement. Again, you know, this is all above, above every garage we made the basement. And it sounds weird terminology wise, but this is what you end up with. So this will all be finished and there'll be commercial carpet down and you can do, you can store, you do whatever you would do in a basement, you do it up here. <clears throat> but you don't need to go down a cold basement to do it. This also could be a bedroom. It's got a full bathroom. It's got a plenty of closet space or it could just be 
uh, entertainment area. I think that's what will end up on most people. But take a look at this deck. Yeah, this is the largest deck in on the complex. I mean, we're building 41 single family houses here. This is the largest deck. I mean, it's fantastic. You can see all the way downtown. You can see the Great American Tower. You can see Waterworks and St. Rose's Church across in Ohio. Look at a panoramic view. You see Hyde Park. You see the Meridian down around the corner, almost where Old Coney is. I mean, it's just unbelievable, this view. I've been up here many nights during construction. It's just, just absolutely gorgeous because what happens is you've got the rolling hills of Ohio and you've got Columbia Parkway, which every 200 feet, they have a light. And that light comes across at nighttime and puts a nice kind of a glow to the river. It's just, it's just gorgeous. So actually I reinforced the floor here in this with the floor joists. So you can put a hot tub anywhere you want on this whole top here, which is really unusual because most houses you, you have to, you have one designated area you have to put it. There, and there's no also restriction on how many people can come up here. Most of the time it's limited to different people because of the weight and the construction of the building. But we reinforce this entire floor really for one reason, the WEBN fireworks, which I guess is the Toyota fireworks now. Or, and, and we don't want to go through that where across the river we had some buildings over there and you could only have like 40 people up because of the weight limits, you know, as far as the code goes. So we reinforce this entire floor. We know there's going to be times where there's well over 100 people up here watching the EBN fireworks, watching the game, the Reds fireworks, etc. So this is going to be one heck of an area. Yeah, I mean, it's just so pretty at night. I think this is where everybody's going to hang out. we got a full kitchen inside there. We've got a full bathroom. You've got everything you need, really. You could, you could live on this whole top floor. But uh, it's just beautiful. And then you, and then you could be here. By, again, by yourself with a, with a friend or you know a companion and serenity, serenity. Put your two lawn chairs out. But I picture a lot of people on these decks over the next uh, over the future of this building. I mean, there's just nothing like it. And you can see the EBN fireworks. You can see the red fireworks. You can see the stadium right there. You, if you look close, you see the lights coming up through the yellow bridge. This house, all our houses look back at Mount Adams and downtown and all the lights at Columbia Parkway and all the high rises and it's just there's a lot to look at with the different colored lights and things coming down and, and making the river glow different colors so it's much prettier to look back over with all these trees and in the fall they all obviously turn colors etc but it's gorgeous I like it over here so much I'm, I live I lived on the other side for 20 years over there and this is I can't wait to move in in fact that house right there I'm gonna be moving in November 1st, and I can't wait.